Hi there, this is the final exam prep for Marketing 380, Strategic Marketing. Your test will be broken down into three parts. A multiple choice section worth uh, 25 marks, 25 questions. Five short answer questions, uh, part two. And part three will be a profitability analysis, so you'll have to look at an income statement or two and make some calculations. Um, I'm going to give you study points for the multiple choice section first here. Keep in mind, as stated throughout the term, my lectures are based on the course outline. The course outline is based upon content and terminology from the Kotler textbook. So the lectures draw from material noted by corresponding chapters in the course schedule. Simply searching through my PowerPoint slides for clues will not be sufficient, as my slides are a broad representation of deeper knowledge, which was both discussed verbally and is embedded in the chapters themselves. Okay, so on that note, let's begin with a multiple choice overview. Know these themes and concepts. Know them, don't just memorize them, and you'll be okay. The strategic marketing process, lecture one. You should know the Boston Consulting Group matrix, the different components, what they mean, and examples thereof. More about SWOT here. By now you know what SWOT is, but really, really, really be able to differentiate between strengths and opportunities and weaknesses and threats. On to marketing environment. You should know Porter's five forces, uh, forms of competition. There are five forms of competition and be able to differentiate between each and identify examples of them and be able to do a competitive analysis as well. What to look for from certain competitors, what the strengths and weaknesses of certain competitors provide to us as those competing against them. In our marketing information discussion, you should draw from that different research methodologies, particularly pertaining to primary research. In the new product development and forecasts lecture, you should be able to determine how forecasting demand from total market, otherwise known as market potential or potential market, uh, is converted into customers who are known as penetrated market. There are several levels between potential and penetrated market. You should know what the definitions of each of those are. Under product strategy, you should know product mix terms, such as width, depth, length, and so on. You should also know what up and down market stretches are and what the pros and cons of each of those are. And then, of course, you should know what the product life cycle stages are and specific characteristics of each stage. In pricing strategy, of course, there are some pretty fundamental concepts here you should understand, such as uh, elasticity, breaking even, um, and then get into some pricing objectives and methods. Our distribution strategy touched on um, not just uh, distribution but also logistics. There's a couple of questions around those two themes along with basic channel structures and the three different forms of channel intensity that you should know about. Also be able to discuss and answer questions about push strategies. What are some of the strategies that go into that push methodology, and B2B discounting tactics. On to promotions. Promotional objectives and strategies as products move through the stages of the PLC. Remember, there are really three main promotional or communication objectives. Um, you should know those as they go through the stages of the PLC. What are the purposes of each of the IMC strategies? Remember, we talked about there being seven, ranging from public relations, advertising, sales promotions, personal selling, word of mouth, events and experiences, direct marketing. I think I mentioned them all there, but you should understand what they are and be able to identify examples of each. And what promo tools are most relevant to business to business? We typically study in a B2C world, but B2B dominates the marketing platform in terms of overall dollars. So get to know that as well. The final lecture was about controls and implementation. We talked about four different marketing control tools. Each of them are used to measure different things. You were asked to do profitability analysis, but there were three other types of uh, control tools as well. All right, on to your short answer part of the test. Um, there's basically a short case with brief data to analyze. You should be able to analyze profitability, um, promotional budgeting, um, look at different strategies to increase profit, and then you'll be asked to make a choice of two questions to undertake out of a, a total of four, and so you'll be able to look at four different types of questions ranging from Antoff's matrix to um, product mix question to marketing intelligence to IMC. So there's four different questions. You get to choose two, the ones that you feel most strongly in, and answer those. 
The third and final part of the test is a profitability analysis. There will be three different income statements to look at, um, and you'll be asked to make some calculations based on what you can see and calculate from those statements. So that's it. Good luck. We will see you in the testing area the week of final exams.